As we said, winter is coming and it has left Europe horror struck. They may not have to deal with white walkers, but they will be left scrambling for energy. This winter won't be like any other for the continent. It will be a cold and dark one as Europe battles an unprecedented energy crisis. Across countries, offices are getting chillier. Historic buildings are going dark, bakers can't afford to heat up their ovens and people are stocking up on firewood and high costs and tight supplies. Europe is rolling out relief programs, plans which could shake up the electricity and natural gas markets. Let's break it down in numbers for you. Now, European gas prices are eight times higher than their 10-year average. So countries are introducing policies to curb the impact of soaring prices. As of August, EU nations have spent more than $276 billion. The highest spender was Germany. The country has allocated more than $60 billion. To put that figure into perspective, that is 1.7% of the country's GDP. Italy too has allocated uh, $49.5 billion to deal with the energy crisis. That's 2.8% of the nation's GDP. Greece, on the other hand, has allocated about $6.2 billion. That is a record 3.7% of its GDP. Cost of living subsidies too are pouring in in households in the United Kingdom. For example, uh, $477 worth of subsidies are being offered. This is for energy bills in winter. In Poland, households can apply for a $640 subsidy. This will be to purchase coal. Italy too is providing a $200 cost of living bonus to cushion the rising energy prices. Germany, in fact, is giving a $300 one-off energy allowance to workers. So subsidies are clearly overflowing across the European continent. But the main question is this, will these relief measures be enough? Can it prevent government-imposed rationing of energy and rolling blackouts across the continent? For now, it is hard to say. Europe has long been dependent on Russian energy. In fact, it is this dependence that has turned the war in Ukraine into a global energy crisis. So governments are now working to find new supplies. Governments have lined up additional gas supply from pipelines running to Norway and Azerbaijan. They have ramped up their purchase of expensive LNG, one that comes by ship largely from the United States. Gas storage facilities are now 86% full ahead of winter. They also have committed to lower gas usage by 15%. Even if there is gas this winter, the crisis could last very well until the next one. Meanwhile, high prices are already pushing people and businesses to use less energy. For some energy-intensive businesses, the future looks rather bleak. This means if you are planning to visit Europe this winter, expect a dark Eiffel Tower. Shops shutting down earlier in the evening or lower thermostat settings as the energy crisis worsens by the day.